Squire. <laughs> yeah, boy. That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Oh, whoa! It's the second best guild in all of Eidolon. Hi guys, I'm Goth. Oh my god! And I'm back! And while I might still be stuck at frogs, I've been cooking up a very special frog slaying build. You know, that portal is not going to tick down on its own. Are you really going to take out talents? Yeah, talents are done. I don't like the system. They're, they're out of the game. Are you taking all of the talent systems out? I already said yes. All the talents are going. Every single one of them. They're, they're, they're just, it's too much, right? You know, they don't, they don't, they don't contribute. I hate this channel. No! So, the Squire is a subclass of the Warrior, and the alternative to Barbarian. While Barbarians are focused around high single target damage, Squires are more defensive, with talents concerning defense and accuracy, and have some amazing farming capabilities with their unique skills. So, while Barbarian might be the strongest class in terms of damage right now, the Squire is able to outfarm and outtank any Barbarian. The build for a Squire is quite similar to that of a Barbarian, we start by adjusting our accuracy. There are a bunch of different upgrades that can influence your accuracy, and we can increase this stat by putting points into Book of the Wise. Here, you can see the accuracy requirements for World 2. Open your inventory, and put as many points into Book of the Wise as you need to beat the desert monster you desire. After adjusting your accuracy, we need 50 points into Idle Brawling, followed by 50 points into Sharpened Axe, Meat Shank, and Gilded Sword. After this, we max Sharpened X, followed by maxing Idle Brawling and moving on to maxing Meat Shank and Gilded Sword. Then, we get to the second tap. Here, we put 50 points into the damaging spells, followed by 50 points into the strength buff. After this, we max Carrying a Big Stick, followed by maxing the damaging spells. Now, we come to the third tap, and here we have a lot of different interesting build paths you can take. Now, I encourage you to experiment. However, if you want maximum AFK gains, we spread our points over the 4 active abilities and equip them, similar to the Journeyman build. This build should easily carry you all the way to level 19 and beyond. By that point, I hope we'll finally be able to beat those darn frogs. See you soon, and I do on.